We're just kind of assuming it's not, we know it's nine laps difference. Well, so let's just remind everyone as they come to the choose, we saw that in Indianapolis, you know, William Byer does have to pit coming back to the green. The line just moves up, and Reddit would become the control car. Currently, Byer in front. Now, it's going to be hard to pick from the top. Byer is the control car at the moment. And he's got, whether it's a speedway or a restart, Brad K is a pusher in my mind. He's going to get a shove down into turn one. Steve, do you worry about the pickups again? You had mentioned it before. They're on the left and right side. So this car's not as bad. The bottom of the Cup Series actually has a little bit of a beat to it. So it's not just a big flat plane like the Xfinity cars were here on Saturday a couple days ago. Uh, this one it does a much better job of filling up. So it's less of a concern. With, I mean, it's still a concern, but not as not as bad as the old stuff. I bet Brad Keselowski, whenever he comes here, <sighs> set, right? He's a Michigan Can we get the off K sweep? <laughs> Crazy. There's never been a Michigan Board driver one win here. Parker. One, one yeah, last you know, year. Can Ford sweep the, the next gen Michigan races? Winning gear would be as big as winning the Daytona 500. Overtime heat start here to try and go get it. Rochester Hills, just down the road. Got Jack Roush, owner of this race car. His facility isn't far down the road either. They always bring a lot of employees out here to this race. You get Brad, one of those drivers who's locked into the playoffs with his win at Darlington earlier this year. Now the win at home. Again, it's going to be a wild race in the front, but it's going to be even more wild in the middle of this pack. We're about to find out as we try overtime for a second time. Five another day, another overtime, P2. Green flag, back out. Oh, now they're all stacked up here. Like 20 cars. Just all stacked. And now Gibbs, a big oh. show as the six checked up. That pulled a lot of them back. Reddick out in front. Gibbs trying to clear for second. He's not going to be able to get by Byron as they go down the back stretch. I don't know how he's in wreck right there with the six checked up. Kyle Busch trying to move up to fourth. Now... William Byron has closed into the back bumper of that 45 as they come up on one lap to go in Michigan. One lap to go was in my credit one bank. Reddick out front. Byron, he's going to look to the outside. Three car legs separate. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to make it to, to the back of Reddick. Slow on the racetrack, the 9 and the 12. They're backing up. Up front. One more set of turns. Two, three, and four. It's going to be Tyler Reddick. Pulling away as he comes out of four. Tyler and Tyler Reddick is going to win. Time is in Michigan. I'm in Michigan. Hey, we didn't get a wreck across the line. That's fucking impressive. You are the man in the... Team is going to start celebrating, and I'm sure this is going to be a very emotional win for Tyler Reddick. As his mentor, Scott Bloomquist, lost his life in an airplane accident earlier this week. All right, Pete Scotty. Tyler Reddick, who had his family's dirt late models built in a shop owned by Scott Bloomquist. Now Tyler Reddick has shaken off those second place finishes that he's been so disappointed with over the last few weeks, and he gets back to victory lane. Let's do it for Scotty. The fans here in Michigan saw another great race. Let's put it down for Scotty. Yeah! To enjoy it. Hell yeah, brother.
Woo! That car looks so good. <laughs> and so is that helmet. God dang, that's a nice helmet. Remember how this Monday started for Tyler Reddick? He restarted the day six and fell back to 20th on the first restart of the day. But at the end of the day, delivers Toyota their first Michigan win in nine years in front of some great fans who hung around on a Monday afternoon. So Tyler, you didn't want the bottom on that final restart. How did you make it work, though? Uh, just, just great teammates, uh, fantastic push by Ty Gibbs. So that's what it's all about. Uh, Toyota Racing family tries to take care of each other. Yeah, let's talk about the role this team is on. You and I talked about it yesterday. Have you ever been, despite the disappointments with the second place finishes, on a roll like this in your career? Uh, it's been a minute. It's been really cool, but I can't help but sit here in, uh, in victory lane and think of Scott Bloomquist, man. Huge mentor to me and an incredible role model and, and legend of dirt racing and motorsports. So the last couple of days have been tough, and this, this really helps it. So this win, I think, should go for him and his family, his friends, and, and all that meant a lot to him. One of the more emotional weeks for you, Tyler, then, in that regard? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, it's always tough when uh, someone you care about uh, passes away, uh, but my thoughts are with him and his family. By the way, the boss man, Michael Jordan, was here yet earlier this year for you win at Talladega. He left last night. You couldn't convince him to stay? Maybe I should have. Uh, we had a bad restart going into the night, so I didn't know how that was going to shake out for us in our McDonald's Camry, but... We did a really, really good job today and, and rebounded from that. I think we were one of the last cars in lead lap to start stage three, so great effort for us. All right, Tyler Reddick collects a checkered flag here in Michigan. There's Bo coming in for the celebration with Dad. Tyler Reddick, 23-11, win here at MIS. Tyler Reddick and Bo. Grab the checkered flag. They'll find a fan that they will gift that checkered flag to. Hell yeah. Tyler Reddick grabs win number two on the season. And it comes here in Michigan. The momentum that he is building as we get close to the playoffs. He is definitely going to be one to watch as the playoffs will kick off two races from now. But he will celebrate this one. See you on Friday for the NASCAR Xfinity Series race at Daytona. Hell yeah.